Hello and what is up everybody? It is me back with another video and this time around it is not a cast. This is another video about surprisingly boosting and account buying. The last video was pretty salty but this one is more so of an investigation right here. I just played a game. This literally just happened like five minutes ago or something and I get this Venomancer player here. And I'm quite experienced with players who run down mid. Uh, there are some people that dedicate their whole Dota playstyle around it, like uh, aka Trouf. Shout out to him. But anyway, let's watch this replay and do some investigative work on this Venomancer player because something is fishy about this. So, again guys, there's multiple ways people artificially boost their MMR. Of course, there's account buying like I covered uh, two days ago or a day ago. I'm not sure, sure the time frame behind that is. So my sleep schedule is all fucked up. But uh, that's the first way people can get a high MMR account, right? Is just to buy a high MMR account. But the second way is potentially what someone did here on the Radiant team, which is slowly boost their account up. So uh, one thing to note here is all three of these players, the Lena. Pudge as well as Life Stealer use their double down, uh, so they're pretty confident that win this game. I would say just from the draft alone, yeah, they definitely have a bit of advantage. We have Bounty Hunter. Uh, I don't think he's good at all in pubs, uh, depending on this game and depending, and especially in this game where he's playing against a Spirit Breaker. I don't think he's good, especially with their offlane being Timber Saw. But anyway, this is not a, a tutorial or a guide on what to pick in your pub games. Uh, most important thing is we're looking at this Venomancer's player perspective here. Let's just check real quick. Let's hold on. So he just clicks onto the enemy secret shop. All right. So clicking pattern. He, this guy's definitely not playing the game, right? But it doesn't tell me he's a bot. It just. Uh, Tells me that this is a guy with low APM and he's looking to contest. What this doesn't make sense to me is why he would skill up his Serpent Hordes here. I believe... We're assuming that this guy is actually trying to play the game at this point, which might not be the case. Like, what if this guy just wants to intentionally throw? Alright, this is the first scenario. Like, what if he's just unhappy with the draft or whatever? By the way, he didn't say anything. I have him muted just to mark him, I believe, but he didn't say anything. And he just walks straight in here, doesn't try to run or do anything at all. So, alright, so this is already the case of intentionally feeding. We could already assume that this guy is not trying to play the game. But, let's check the mouse movement here. Alright. I'm not so sure how a bot actually moves, by the way. So. Might have to hop into a replay with a confirmed bot to check. And good thing, someone on Reddit, I think just seven hours ago, a guy from Chile posted a video or uh, links to a game with confirmed bots. So we'll dive into that as well to discover whether this guy is actually a bot or not. Because he's definitely playing like a player just AFK and trying to feed. But we can't confirm for sure if he's a bot. But anyway, it's still a problem because... Even if this was a legit account or a legit player per se, like there's actually a person behind the uh, account instead of just a uh, machine playing, this is still boosting. And someone on Radiant is boosting for sure and they want their double down. So anyway, I'm just doing a little bit of work on that. And so clearly at this point, he's not playing the game. He just clicked and uh, we can just zoom through. I won't spend too much time on this. I'll do a dive on their profiles as well but at this point he's afk just has his cameras here he's literally afk i tried pausing for him and he runs back just dies again rinse and repeat keep in mind he's not moving his camera at all all right this is enough so I'm not going to waste any more time on this, so clearly this guy is not playing the game at all. That's safe to say. It is either a person or a bot that is just intentionally feeding at this point. So we can get that straight, that this guy definitely is trying to throw the game. Not because he's mad or anything, but 
most likely because he's boosting MMR on the Radiant team. Because if he was mad, he usually wouldn't throw at the beginning, especially if there's a chance of winning. Unless he had a reason, and most of the time, if he does have a reason, he would say something. Unless the draft was just so bad that he thought, alright, we didn't have any chance to just go feed. But that's pretty unlikely, because um, intentional feeders, they're still humans for the most part. And... Even though they may AFK, they do things like sell the courier or run down mid, run down a certain lane. They have, like, I don't know how to, what to, how to put it, but they have human movements. They would go down a certain lane, they would walk around, they wouldn't just do this for the most part. I haven't ever seen someone feed down mid, and trust me, playing on US East, I see a lot of people feeding down mid. So, in all my years of playing on US East, I've never seen anyone feed like this that wasn't a bot or just trying to literally intentionally throw the game without like having to play at all. Like, I don't know, it was someone who's like just literally tabbed or something like that. But, um, so enough of this. Uh, clearly, this guy is intentionally throwing. But let's do a dive in the profile. This is the Lena's profile. I do a check on previous nicknames because uh, this tells you a lot of things uh, most notably the Chinese characters no racism here but uh, Chinese players uh, are known to do this type of thing there is I mean on US East alone or US West there's like Chinese account buying rings like, I just know just trust me about that I've experienced it before with certain players which I will not name but uh, this is what Chinese people do uh, a lot of it has to do with uh, Chinese immigrants coming to US servers, uh, they usually tend to be uh, pretty wealthy to be able to travel to America to study uh, in university or whatever, and they like to play Dota, um, they don't have that much time to play, so in terms of boosting MMR, they or grinding MMR the natural way, they don't have time to do that, because most of the time they are in school, so they'll buy booster accounts or whatever. And most of the time they won't be that bad of players, but a lot of times there are some people who like are 2k that will just buy a 5k account or whatever. And that's probably the case of what happened on my previous video. But a lot of times the common scenario is it's a 5k player or maybe like 4k and they want to just get like a little bit of boost. So they'll buy for boosting or they'll pay for boosting I mean or buy an account that's a slightly higher MMR. So maybe they'll be like a 6k player, but they'll buy a 7k account so that they can just show off. And it's just people with money, and it's a status thing, right? But anyway, enough about that. You check this guy, and that's already a red flag. Chinese name, um, most likely a Chinese player. If you look at all his friends, uh, you see a lot of Chinese names as well there. Now, this is not a racial profiling thing. It's just... Uh, an investigation and just because these players are known to do this type of thing it, it stands out and once again we see the second player here keep in mind all three of these players doubled down the Lena the Pudge as well as the Lifestealer all doubled down I did have the Lifestealer pre muted and my invoker player as well did point out that he had this guy muted too as he was just a bad player and it was pretty much a free win anytime he played against him Unless, of course, we have an intentionally feeding potentially a bot on our team. But anyway, let's just uh, check the Lifesaver profile now. And we do see as well he has a VAC ban on record. That's a red flag right there. And a bunch of just like fake names, I would say. Like just trying to cover himself. He has a Chinese name as well. I don't know what that means. Let's Google Translate this actually. Let's go a bit further into investigation here. This is just for fun, by the way. It's, I'm trying to keep this video lighthearted still because I'm not really salty. The last video was pretty salty. Uh, this one is just uh, a bit of a fun video and investigation on some account buying shenanigans or boosting shenanigans in USC server. So anyway, let's Google Translate this real quick here. can't see it because it's on my second monitor. And let's check it out. Cute, beautiful, fresh, his father. That is the exact... Google Translate translation of that name right there. All right, and then he just recently changed his name to STFU. Anyway, that stands out right away. I wish I can look into these guys. Oh, I did look into their Dota buff histories, and nothing stood out to me. So this might be a one-time deal. Uh, they might have paid for like a one-game boost or something, and they all turned out to get on the same team. And you can very easily do this by messing around with your language preferences. And I can show you that right here. Uh, it's not. 
guaranteed, but especially queuing at this time, it's about 7 a.m. U.S. or e Eastern Standard Time. Uh, it's pretty possible to get on a team with your friends if you just like select a language here and they probably selected Chinese as we had all English speakers on our team actually surprisingly or not all English, well, we had at least three uh, I'm not sure about my disruptor but we had three mic users and we all spoke some American English so I can say we had some US citizens on our team uh, can't say the same for the radiant but uh, what I was gonna do next? All right, yeah. So let's exit out of here and let's check the bots profile because this is a uh, red flag here as well. And this goes along with account buying too because, I mean, this account probably was bought. I, I can't say this is a legit account. It was a Smurf account boosted by somebody and then bought used as a bot to just snipe into people's games and throw, most likely. Or if not a bot used by a player to just maybe someone on his second computer or something like that, right? Because that's also a potential here. I didn't point it out, but it could be one of the Radiance players just on a second computer with a bot account that's about the same MMR. I'll do an MMR check afterwards. But look at this account. Uh, it's not been set up. It's probably not used. It's definitely a smurf. And that's all there is to it. But anyway, uh, let's check the MMR of the Venomancer. Long thing. Yeah, so about a 5.5 account. I would say it's definitely a bot. It's the other high MMR player on our team. Uh, when you end up taking all three cores, I can say that this is definitely not a person. Uh, for sure, it's not a person. Uh, if it is a person, it's a person on like a second computer at this point because a person that would intentionally throw would not do this. I can just give you a short. So I had a bunch of intentional throws in my previous day of playing here. So let's just uh, check out the game. By the way, shout out to the abandoned. Because it's. Alright, actually, let's go into this one. I mean, I did abandon this game, but it was because people were intentionally throwing. I just wanted out, and uh, I didn't want to wait into this game. But this is actually a good example. Oh, did I just abandon right away? Alright. So this is what happens when people intentionally throw down mid. They would buy boots, and they would go mid. There's no reason. Like, if you're actually trying to throw the game right away, I mean, there's no way you just walk here and then just wait until someone comes to you, right? Just, it's very short because I abandoned immediately as soon as I realized it happened because, I mean, these are the telltale signs. The Venomancer, like, he bought, like, I would say semi-legit items to go to lane and then he just stood here, he just stood here and died, or here, and died. It's just, that's, and he didn't say anything either unless he was muted. Look here, my gyro, just go boots so we can get to mid as fast as possible and you go down mid. And this is what happens when people want to enchant you throw the game for whatever reason, whether they're not unhappy or whether they're unhappy with the draft. Whether they say anything or not, this is pretty common behavior on USDs. So, I mean, I knew right away I got out of the game. But that was clearly a difference there between the Venomancer and uh, these people right here. I can give you more examples, but I don't think you need them. You kind of get the point. So, I'm trying to accomplish with this video right now is to, uh, once again kind of a public service announcement to report these type of people uh, maybe we can get some uh, I won't say I don't, I don't think Valve needs to address this because I still think it's a small problem I would say uh, the biggest thing about this is be careful when you queue 7 a.m. US East probably is not the best time to play Dota, but you know, I was up and I was down to play a game. But I was literally seconds away from dodging that game. I could have dodged a bullet there, unfortunately, I will not. But I only lose 24 MMR. Um, not too bad, could have been 26. But I think that's going to be all for the video. Watch out for account buyer. This is not a salty video, this is just an investigation. I can say for a fact this guy wasn't a. Oh, I forgot. I'll go into the replay where the guy had bots. That's a good idea. All right, so I have the replay idea here real quick. I'm not going to end the video quite yet. It's going to last a little bit longer. I hope you guys don't mind these long videos. This is what I do. But anyway, this guy says that there are legitimate bots in this game. So let's just check out. 
Um, let's just read his Reddit post here. So, screenshots from games. So, who does he say are the bots? Oh, so he actually got the bots on the enemy team. Which is weird. Are they all bots? I'll just check out. Speed it up or skip forward. And let's go to player perspective. Start the game. Battle will commence in 13 seconds. What the fuck? All right, so I can say that that Venomancer wasn't a bot for sure at this point, just by observing this bot behavior, because they're using the mini map to click, for sure. Like, however they program these bots, like they're not actually clicking the map. Like you see, the camera is just going all over the place, and they're all in the same spot. So I'm pretty sure if that Venomancer was a bot, he would be doing something similar to this, right? Um, because, I mean, there's only so many ways you can program your bots. But you saw that Venomancer, he was actually clicking and stuff. So it was probably someone on a second account that was a bot account or whatever, just the smurf that they would use. But they decided that it was a good idea at 7 a.m. U.S. East, or U U Eastern Standard Time to queue on USD East, snipe a bunch of their friends, most likely. Uh, we can't say anything for a fact, but that's probably what happened there. They sniped their friends, all doubled down, got a free 48 MMR, and called it a day. And this is what happened there. And this is real bots in action right now. You see the camera is not even like focused on anything at all. Uh, it was clear a difference between the Venomancer player who was actually clicking on the map like a human. That's what, the first thing that jumped out to me. Uh, it was, hesitant to say that it was a bot because I saw him like actually click on the map like the actual game map instead of just what these guys are doing is running down mid so I think that confirms it I would be 99% sure to say now that that Venomancer was someone on the Radiant team on a separate account playing on like a laptop or something and I mean I can't confirm this I don't know how you can check but you could probably check like IPs or something like I don't, I don't know about that shit but probably do something like that just to uh, confirm that but I'm pretty sure like 99% sure as I said that the Venomancer was a second account of someone on the Radiant team just feeding them a free double down and they all sniped each other and they're probably in on it uh, I can't check uh, that's one thing I could also check if they're on each other's friends list that would also confirm uh, let's see I'll just do a one check here. Does he have STFU? Doesn't. It might just be a coincidence. Uh, they might have just queued language preference. Like, that also been the case. Like, I'm not gonna uh, say for a fact that they're all in on it because they're ch all Chinese. Like, that'd be a little bit racist, but this guy has private accounts, so we can't tell. Um, let's see. The Lena is friends with. This other guy. This, is, this doesn't look like they're friends, so it was probably a coincidence. But I mean, they probably said something to each other at the start of the game. Uh, uh, I don't know if you can look into the ally chat at all. Probably not. But uh, they probably communicated that there's a free win or whatever because one of them had a bot on the enemy team. Uh, most likely the life stealer because he had a back band. He probably did shady stuff in the past, like hack and CSGO or something. I don't know. But. This game's over as well. So that's it. Gonna, uh, that's it for the video now. <laughs> Gonna sign out. Uh, let's see how long this video was. Tried to keep it as short as possible, about 20 minutes. I think that's that's fair for this type of video. I mean, I went into a lot of things uh, about boosting account buying. I hope that it was informative for you guys who don't really know about this type of stuff. But it is a real. Um, it's not that big of a problem. I mean, this is one out of like I don't know 100 games where this happened. This is the first time that this actually happened to me. I mean, sure, there's a bunch of people feeding down mid, but I mean, this is the first time that I've had someone literally feed themselves MMR, and I've played at weird hours, trust that. So, it's not too common at all. I don't think that Valve needs to address this unless uh, they can figure out a way to discover, like, a better way. Because we already have, like, the phone authentication, whatever, but it clearly it's not stopping people from playing ranked and doing this, right? Uh, they can buy second phones like a freaking... 
uh, a drug dealer or some shit. I don't know. But anyway, see you guys in the next video. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, if it informed you, uh, leave a like down below. I mean, it's not too common, but if it does happen in your game, at least you'll know what's the reason behind this. And uh, you probably won't be mad then because you know all right it's just a freaking bot it was 25 I mean, you might still be pissed but at this point i've had so many people feed down mid having someone intentionally feed themselves and losing the game for some reason that just I mean, I don't know, shit happens but see you guys in the next video hope you guys enjoyed this one and peace out